everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com and CBS in Denver. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday Live guest, Dalton Reisner. Dalton, what were you saying right before we came back on? You guys are getting ready to do some shopping for the new house. <laughs> I said shopping got shut down for the day, man. I shut I shut Whitney down. I said we've been shopping too much. We're ahead. We're ahead. No. Hey, so I noticed on TikTok you guys are kind of doing the uh, I, I don't know if it's a fixer upper type deal, but you are definitely doing some renovations. Are you handy? Oh yeah, man. I mean, I'm not gonna act like when I first moved in, I had it all figured out, but I got my set of drills. I, I've been I've been doing all sorts of stuff over the house. I got a hot tub working. Got my sprinklers going. So. You know, in college, you don't learn too many of them handy skills, but growing up in Wiggins sure helped me out. Is uh, is Whitney still in the car with you? She went to go get some uh, oh, dinner. Oh man, at okay. I was there. gonna I was gonna have her put you on blast and see if you were telling the truth <laughs> she, or not. She, she knows better. She would have had my back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how do you go about? We talked in the show about the virtual OTAs. How do you guys go about preparing for the season uh, amidst so much uncertainty? Yeah, you know, I, I think that we're professional athletes. I don't think I know. And, you know, with, with that, I think that we're held to a very high standard. And, you know, there is a world pandemic going on right now, but we're expected to be professionals. And that means if we still can't be in the office and it's been four months, we're expected to eat right, make sure we work out, and make sure that we stay on top of our studies. So, yeah, it's very hard. It's very different. And we're having to meet virtually. But we get paid a lot of money to do what we do. And, you know, this is the type of stuff that we need to be professionals through. So I think it'll really separate teams this year in terms of what guys are doing right now. And I'm proud to say that I think the Denver Broncos are getting ahead, man. So we're, we're making the most of it and we're winning the virtual battle. That's kind of what we call it. You know, there's a virtual battle and then it's going to start training camp. So who can win the virtual battle that's going on right now, you know, in replace of OTAs? The season, the season schedule was released last Thursday. When you get the schedule, what's the first thing you look at? Man, I look at when we play the Chiefs. I look at when we play the Raiders and the Chargers. That's probably the first three <laughs> things that I do. And then I start looking at teams and then kind of trying to think in my head what kind of defensive linemen they have. So, you know, the first game I found was December 6th against the Chiefs yeah. at their place. I was like, okay, that's going to be cold. And, you know, I want to get those guys this year. So that was one of the first thing I looked at. And I looked and tried to find where I was going to see John Gruden again. And I saw that date. And then, uh, you know, just stuff like that. So, I mean, I saw that. Titans game one, and I was very thrilled to say that I'm not going to have to deal with Jarrell Casey. Instead, they'll be <laughs> deal with Jarrell Casey. So those are some of the first few things that popped up in my head. Yeah, good to have him on your side, no doubt about that. You looking forward to playing on Sunday Night Football? Oh, most definitely, man. We, I think we have a Sunday Night Football game, a Monday night, and a Thursday. And a Thursday, so, yeah, all three primetime yeah, spots. So primetime, man. We got to show out, and, you know, we had a couple chances last year and didn't get it done, so – you know, like we talked about earlier with the draft, we have we have the things to make it happen this year, and we have the, we have the ability to be a you know a primetime team. Hey, one more quick one for you. What's the latest on the Reisner Classic, a fantastic golf tournament that you guys put on? Everybody was looking forward to the second edition of it. What's the latest on it? Bad news, man. Oh. I hate to be this guy, but my dad's shutting her down, man. He's he's worried about everything going on. He's worried about people getting sick. And let's just say that the Reisner Classic isn't the most you know, hygienic. There's a lot of people just giving <laughs> hugs. There's a lot of people, you know, sipping their waters, we'll call them, after each other. So, um, you know, we had to go ahead and let that thing down easy this year. But it's going to be revamped for 2021. All we'll right. That. All right, man. We're looking forward to that. Hey, Dalton, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Congratulations on everything you're doing in the community. We talked about your Reisner Up Foundation. Check out his social media page. You can find more there. And uh, Dalton Reisner, our guest tonight here on Xfinity Monday Live. Dalton, thanks, man. Take care. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all.